the topic electricity and chemistry uh, so we were discussing how we do electrolysis of the molten and the aqueous substances so for a molten substance because they don't have any water the positive ion there is only one positive ion and one negative ion so they move towards their respective electrodes the aqueous substance means it consists of water so for positive ion we check the reactivity that less reactive will move and negative ion we check the amount the one the ion which is more in the solution will move towards the positive terminal or anode and overall one positive and one negative ion left in the electrolyte which we called as a change in the electrolyte so we discuss all these electrolysis using the inert electrode now you have to learn another thing that electrolysis of aqueous it can be concentrated or it can be dilute aqueous concentrated copper two sulfate solution so if you are doing electrolysis of aqueous concentrated copper two sulfate solution there are two ways this electrolysis can be done number 1 this electrolysis can be done by using inert electrodes unreactive electrodes or we can say by using carbon or graphite or platinum electrode or we can also use there's also another way to do this electrolysis we can use copper electrodes so there are two ways to carry out this electrolysis one is by using carbon or graphite or platinum electrode which are known as inert electrodes the second one is by using the co copper electrode means electrodes are made up of copper so what are the results what will be the observation that you have to understand so first we'll do electrolysis of copper to sulfate by using carbon electrodes carbon or platinum or graphite and then we'll discuss what will be the effect if we use the copper electrode so the, this is a very important topic so electrolysis of copper two sulfate solution by using a carbon or graphite or platinum electrode so originally this copper sulfate solution is blue and it is aqueous it can be concentrated or dilute that does not make if, uh, like difference to the final result so if you are doing electrolysis of aqueous concentrated copper to sulfate solution so this is a beaker a container in which we have the solution and the electrolyte will be blue in color why this electrolyte is blue in color that is because of the copper ions these copper ions are blue in color so copper is plus 2 sulfate so4 minus 2 because it is an aqueous substance so there will be hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion as we mentioned it is a concentrated so the term concentrated means this will have more salt so it will have more copper sulfate 
and it will have less water or smaller quantity of water is there. The ions which are present here, so it contains copper ion, it contains sulfate ion, it contains hydrogen ion, and it also contains hydroxide ion. Then we dip the electrodes, which are either made up of any one, any graphite material, either it will be graphite or platinum. We connect the battery. The electrode which is connected with a positive terminal, that's called anode. And the electrode which is connected with a negative terminal, that's called cathode. So we have two electrodes. One is known as anode, another one is known as the cathode. Now during electrolysis, what will happen when we switch on the supply, the electrons will come out from the negative terminal and they will move towards the cathode. So majority of the electrons will be there. So we have two positive ions and we have two negative ions. For positive ion, what is the criteria for the discharge? We will check the reactivity. And always the less reactive will move towards the cathode. So which ion is less reactive here, copper or hydrogen? Can you identify using a reactivity series, which ion is less reactive here? So copper ion is less reactive. So both ions are attracted. Hydrogen ion is attracted, copper is attracted, but which ion is able to discharge or move easily or collected at the cathode that is copper. So when we write the equation, the half equation for cathode, the copper ions are there attracted by the electron. So they will take electron and it will turn into a copper atom. So when copper ion turn to a copper atom, because we know copper that is brown or pink is acceptable. The color, you can say brown, you can say pink. So this copper is deposited at cathode. So what is the observation at cathode? What are the observation at cathode? that we will observe that a brown, because a copper metal is formed, so this is a brown solid at cathode. Now for anode, what we do, we always check the, for negative ions, we check the amount So the ion which is more in the solution will move. So which ion should move? Which ion is more in the solution when we check sulfate is more as it is concentrated and OH is less. But keep in mind that these three ions does not move. Exception is there except the three ions. What are the three ions? Sulfates, nitrates, carbonates. They are not able to move at all. So if these ions are there, even though they are more in the solution, but they will never move. So if sulfate, even it's more, it cannot move. So we, what we are left, the second ion we are left with is hydroxide. So sulfate is attracted, but it is not able to discharge. So they will never discharge at anode. So which ion will move there? The hydroxide ion or OH ion will move. When we write the equation for The anode for hydroxide ion, there's a fixed equation which you have to learn. So when four hydroxide ions are there, they will lose four electron. It will turn into oxygen gas and two water molecules. So whenever oxygen gas is there or hydrogen gas, the observation is bubbles. So you will see
bubbles are formed at anode then what happened to the solution the electrolyte so what happened to electrolyte number 1 as we see copper is being removed and hydroxide is being removed so we are left with hydrogen ion and sulfate ion so when hydrogen ion and sulfate ion are left behind which compound is formed when we cross multiply the valencies so the compound which will result that is h2so4 so the electrolyte will turn into h2so4 or sulfuric acid and what happened to the color of the electrolyte the color of the electrolyte will get lighter so why the color of this electrolyte will be lighter or paler because the amount of the copper ion as these copper ions are moving the color blue is due to the presence of the copper ion so as the copper ions are moving towards the cathode and turn to a copper metal that's why the blue color is changing into a brown a blue solution turned into a brown solid is it clear the electrolysis of aqueous copper to sulfate using either carbon graphite or platinum electrodes the electrolyte equation basically how we got the electrolyte equation as you can see the copper is being removed so copper ions are being removed here and hydroxide ions are being removed as well so if copper and hydroxide both are removed so what ions we are left with so we are left with hydrogen ion and we are so when the copper ions are removed and hydroxide ions are removed then we are left with hydrogen ion and we are left with sulfate ion so what is a compound formed by a combination of hydrogen ion and sulfate ion as how to write a formula for compound we cross multiply the valency so it will be h2so4 which is known as a sulfuric acid so the electrolyte will turn into a sulfuric acid and the color of electrolyte will be lighter why because the amount of copper ion in the solution is decreasing so this is what happen when we do electrolysis using carbon graphite or platinum electrode but opposite will happen there will be a bit different a slight difference is there if we do electrolysis using a copper electrode so electrolysis of aqueous copper to sulfate solution using copper electrodes so now the electrodes are made up of copper as well it can be aqueous dilute or aqueous concentrated that does not make difference to the final result so when we say it is concentrated it means it will have more salt and it will have less water so that means it contain copper ion it contain sulfate ion it contain hydrogen ion and it contain hydroxide ion so originally
because it's an electrolyte of copper sulfate so it is always blue in color due to the presence of copper ion so original color for copper sulfate solution it is always blue now the electrodes are made up of copper as well so anode and cathode both are made up of copper so there is a copper there are copper atoms here at anode and there are copper atoms already at cathode now this is connected to the supply so this is a positive and the negative terminal the one which is connected with a positive terminal is known as anode and the one which is connected with a negative terminal that's called cathode so the ions which we have we have copper ion we have sulfate ions we have hydrogen ion and we have hydroxide ion now for positive ion we check the reactivity so when we check the reactivity always the one which is less reactive will move so which ion is less reactive the positive ion is it copper or hydrogen which positive ion is less reactive here so that is copper that's true the copper so for copper ion which is attracted towards the electrons the cathode so what will be the equation of the cathode the equation of the cathode that copper ions are attracted copper cu it is attracted towards cathode take two electron and it turned into a copper atom so we can say because it turned into a copper atom and copper is brown in color so it will stick as it will stick what happened to the size of the cathode uh, we can say observation is there is a brown solid form or we can also say the cathode size will increase because that solid will stick to the cathode that's why as it is stick to the cathode the size of the cathode will increase is it clear till this point that's the same thing even in the previous one i did not write but I, the observation here also we will have the same observation when the copper is attracted it is stick to the electrode so when it is stick to the electrode what happened to the size of the electrode a brown solid will form and we can also say the cathode size will increase so same thing happen here as a copper metal is formed that's why the cathode size is increasing so whenever a metal is formed at electrode the size will always increase because that metal will stick to the electrode now for second part what happen we have sulf sulfate ion and we have hydroxide ion for the negative ion what we do we check the amount always the one which is more in the solution will move except three of them the sulfates nitrates and carbonate never move so except these three remaining the one which is more in the solution will move so as i mentioned it is a concentrated so it means more sulfate ions less hydroxide ions so which ions are move moving or which ions are attracted sulfate cannot move so the hydroxide ions are attracted but before these hydroxide ions reach there 
what is the ob what we observe we observe that before this hydroxide ion is completely discharged at anode because anode is also made up of copper atoms so what we observe we observe these copper atoms go inside the solution as a copper ion so when the copper ions are moving amount of copper ion in the solution is decreasing to overcome this from anode the copper atoms are turning into a copper ion so what happen at anode the copper atoms at anode change into copper ions to balance the number of copper ions in the solution so when the copper ion is attracted towards the cathode this copper ion is there it is attracted towards the cathode amount of copper ion decrease to overcome this one of the copper atom jump and go inside as a copper ion same thing when another copper ion is attracted towards the cathode another copper atom will go inside the solution as a copper ion so before these negative ion move there these copper atoms start to turn into a copper ion so what will be the equation at anode the copper atom at anode will change into copper ions so this is a copper atom which is there at anode jumped into the solution and turned into a copper ion but it was not happening in the previous one why it was not happening in the previous one because these electrodes are made up of carbon or platinum and carbon and platinum are unreactive metal they are not able to react easily is it clear this part what happened at anode anyone having a doubt or a question so in this case when we are using the active electrodes when we are using the copper electrode the solution color does not change so why the solution color does not change what is the reason for that because you can see the copper ion which is going towards the cathode to balance this the copper atom will enter the solution as a copper ion so the amount of the this one is leaving going out and this one is coming in so copper ion is going out copper atom turn into a copper ion in entering so the number of the copper ion go out is same as the number of the copper atom turn into a copper ion that is why the total number of the copper ion in the solution does not change that's why the color of the solution will not change but opposite will happen in this case what happened why the color was turning into a lighter as the copper ions are there they are moved towards the cathode so amount of copper ion is decreasing that's why it turned lighter or paler so this is the difference between the electrolysis of copper to sulfate solution using the copper electrodes and using the carbon or graphite electrodes now we'll do some questions related to this electrolysis part so you will have a better understanding of the topic some of the questions are related to chemical cell that we will not do remaining we will solve okay the first question which reaction could take place at anode for anode what are the ions move anode will attract the negative ions only so anode can attract only the negative ions 
so which ions can be attracted copper ion cannot be attracted so it's, it cannot be three hydrogen ions are positive they cannot be attracted towards anode so the ions which can be attracted that is the hydroxide ion or a chloride ion so that's why a is the right answer is it clear discussion because they're asking that which reaction could take place as we know the positive the positive ions are attracted towards cathode and negative ions are attracted towards anode if this there was the same question but if instead of asking for anode if the same question was there about cathode which reaction could take place at cathode <coughs> so the cathode what cathode can do cathode can only attract the cathode can only attract the positive so what are the positive ion copper and hydrogen in that case d will be the answer but the original question is about anode that's why a is the right answer this is related to chemical cell that will be the last topic which we'll discuss related to this chapter still we did not discuss anything that's why related to chemical cell we did not discuss we did electrolytic cell so another example there's an electrolytic cell the diagram shows electrolysis of molten zinc chloride when we say we have a molten compound molten means it does not have any other substance so what it what is present it contain a zinc ion there will be a zinc ion and there are chloride ions so zinc ion where it is attracted zinc ions are attracted towards electrode y which is cathode and what will be the equation that zinc ion will take electrons will take two electron it will turn into a zinc atom and when something gain electron what we call this we call that as reduction so there will be a reduction for zinc ions and for chloride ions which are attracted towards electrode x or anode what will be the equation when one chloride ion is there it will lose one electron and it turn into a chlorine atom if two chloride ions are there they will lose two electron and it will form a chlorine molecule so what we call this change we call this change as oxidation so one is oxidation another one is reduction so we have to check what could be the possible answer according to the question zinc ions are attracted towards the cathode and they are being reduced whereas uh, the chloride ions are attracted towards the anode and they loses electron we call that as oxidation because oxidation is a loss of electron so when you check the options oxidation occur at electrode x yeah that's true oxidation occur at electrode x and the equation is the chloride ion because, because that's the same equation if i write i write two chloride ions are there they will lose two electron it turn into a chlorine molecule or if this is minus if it move to other side the equation is same that chloride ions two chloride ion turned into a chlorine molecule by loss of electron so these two equations are same there is no difference so which statement is correct at electrode x oxidation happen that's true and the equation is the two chloride ion turned into a chlorine molecule 
and by loss of two electron that's why a is the right answer why b is not the right answer because for b it is written oxidation occur at electrode y but at electrode y there is no oxidation actually it is reduction that's why b cannot be an answer what about c reduction occur at x so reduction does not occur at x that's why c is also wrong what about d reduction at y yes the reduction occur at y that's true but the equation is not correct the equation for reduction should be zinc but what they write here we they write the equation for chloride ion chloride ion cannot move towards the negative electrode they should move towards the positive electrode which is electrode x that's why d is also a wrong option is it clear this question to everyone anyone having a doubt another question <clears throat> the diagram shows a method used to copper plate a pan so this diagram is showing a method which is used to copper plate a pan this is a copper two sulfate solution so copper two sulfate solution uh, that's good afri the copper ions are there uh, sulfate ions are there hydrogen ions and a hydroxide ion so what happened for positive ion we check the reactivity because we know copper is less reactive so copper is able to move towards the cathode so what is the equation for cathode the copper ions are there attracted towards the cathode and it will turn into a copper atom that's why this pan will have a layer of a copper so layer of copper will be there on the pan and what happened for the positive anode because it is made up of copper as well so copper atom will turn into a copper ion so this was the equation for cathode that they are asking which reaction occur for cathode so that is a that copper ion turn into a copper atom and what will be the equation for anode in this example because it's a copper electrode so the copper atom will turn into a copper ion by loss of electron but they did not ask for equation at anode they only ask equation for cathode so copper ions are attracted towards the cathode turn into a copper atom which stick to the pan is it clear discussion if any question you have a doubt or you want me to re explain just let me know this is about the chemical cell that will be our last topic of electrolysis which statement about electrolysis is correct so question number 7 we will check each statement so for this we should have uh, the battery or a cell then electrodes are there the first one this is a positive terminal negative terminal this is called cathode and this one is known as anode all these wires and electrodes they are known as the external circuit electron move through the electrolyte within the solution electron does not move only the ions can move so the electron move through the electrolyte from cathode to anode that's totally wrong electron does not move electron can only flow 
or move in the wire. The electron move towards the cathode in the external circuit. That's true because this is a cathode. So when electrons are coming out from the negative terminal, so the electron are moving towards the cathode. That's why B is the right answer. What about C? The negative ions move towards anode in external circuit. The negative ions are moved towards anode, but not in the external circuit. External circuit means wires. Negative ions are not moving in the wire. Negative ions are moving in the electrolyte. So this statement can be true if it was written like this, that the negative ion moved towards the anode in the electrolyte. So if it was written electrolyte, then C will be the right statement. But they mention it is in external circuit. The term external circuit means the wires. So these negative ions are not moving in the wire. They are only moving. It's not like they're moving in the wire. The negative ions are only moving in the solution or which we also call electrolyte. That's why C is also wrong. The positive ion moved through the electrolyte towards anode. That is wrong. The positive ion move to a, move through the electrolyte towards cathode. So if it was written cathode here instead of anode, then it will be the right answer. But it is written anode again, that is wrong. So the correct answer is B. Is it clear this question that why the other options are wrong? Question 11, uh, two minutes left. So I'll share another link and continue this discussion of electrolysis questions because I have to uh, write equation for this. That's why it will take time. I won't be able to explain this in a minute. So there will be another link. I have to, uh, I'll share another link. Uh, 